So hi everyone and a very good evening to all of you. Welcome back once again to another session of PIB 247. In this session guys as usually we are going to discuss some more important questions from the PIB news which are relevant for all the government exams and especially for the upcoming RBI gate exam. Alright so let's begin with the session without any delay but before we begin if you want to ace the exam this year then you can enroll for this RBI grade B descriptive writing course and if you want to enroll in this course you can download the Anujindala app from your Google Play Store and if you want to ask anything related to examination you can follow me here. So now let's talk about the very first question very very important question. The second phase of MSME Rupee credit card has been launched by Ministry of MSME which is headed by Mr. Narayan Dhani in collaboration with NPCI. Four banks have been added to the network of uh, MSME Rupee credit card in the second phase. Question is which of the following is not one of the four banks. Okay, four new banks be added over this. Earlier during the first phase, these cards were offered by Union Bank of India only. But now, after the launch of second phase, this card will be offered by five banks. So four new banks have been added to the network of MSME uh, Rupee Credit Card. All right. So let's talk about this news. So Ministry of MSME has launched the second phase of MSME Rupee Credit Card. Now what is the objective of this card? So remember this card provides a simplified mechanism of payment to MSME so that they can meet their business related expenses. Which business related expenses are meet this card provides a streamlined payment mechanism to the MSME owners. Okay. And in the first phase, the card was offered by Union Bank of India as I already told you and now the four banks have been added which are Kotak Mahindra Bank, Bank of Badoda, SBM Bank, India Branch and HDFC. So these are the four banks which will now offer the MSME Rupee Credit Card along with Union Bank of India. And of course this card has been launched in collaboration with NPCI which is National, Corporation, National Payment Corporation of India. Now I have a question for you. Who is the CEO of NPCI? Write down in the comments who is the CEO of NPCI? Alright, so now let's come back to the question. So, which of the following is not one of the four banks? So, Kotak Mahindra, SDFC, Bank of Adoza, SBM Bank, ICICI Bank is not one of the four. So, option A guys will be the correct answer. Alright, I hope this question is clear moving ahead to question number two. And yes, these are some other benefits which have been provided by uh, this card like anytime digital payments, interest free period and it also uh, basically in ko jo EMI based loan bhi mil jata hai through this card. So these are some of the, uh, you know, the benefits which are provided through this card to the MSME owners. Okay, now let's come to the question number two. Atal Innovation Mission, of course, which is being implemented by Niti Ayo, has launched AIM Prime Playbook under AIM Prime Program. Question is, which of the following non-profit incubators is the implementing agency for AIM Prime? Very important question and this can be asked in your exam because you know, hotel innovation mission say a question to Anna Yana. So this might be this question. So let's talk about this news. So remember this AIM Prime playbook has been launched by Atal Innovation Mission. Now what is this playbook? What guidance will it provide? So remember this playbook will provide guidance to the science based entrepreneurs and ventures. Jitne bhi science based entrepreneurs honge under AIM Prime program. All these science based entrepreneurs and ventures will be provided guidance to this playbook which is AIM Prime playbook. Okay. Now talking about AIM Prime. So remember it is, it is the uh, program of Niti Aayog under Atal Innovation Mission which is aimed at promoting early stage science based deep technology ideas to market through training and guidance over a period of 12 months. Okay. 12 months ka support is provide karaya jata hai to the science based business ideas. All right. And remember it is being implemented by Venture Center which is a non-profit incubation center. Venture center, it is located in Pune. Do remember this also. And it is a non-profit incubation center of CSIR National Chemical Laboratory, which is located in Pune. All right. Do remember this as well. This is very, very important. And it is this program, AIM, program, AIM Prime, is supported by Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and Office of the uh, Principal Scientific Advisor to the Government of India. Do remember this fact also. This is also very important. Okay. So now let's come back to the question. 
so which non profit incubator is this this is venture center option b which is a non profit incubation center i am repeating this csir national chemical laboratory which is located in pune all right and now let's talk about the question number 3 which country has been elected as the chair of association of asian election authorities for the year 2022-24 this question becomes important because generally in the esi part they ask you a question based on any organization so ho sakta hai ki is saal yahi organization se question aa jaye okay so remember india has been elected india has been elected as the chair of this organization which is association of asian election authorities for a period of 2022-20 uh 24 all right and remember talking about this organization so it was established in the year 1998 in accordance with the resolution passed by symposium of asian elections in the 21st century which was held in manila jo ki kahan pe hua tha manila mein hua tha and manila of course is in philippines and currently there are 20 members in the executive board of this organization and the very first meeting of the executive board was held in the year 1999 in kathmandu which is the capital of nepal all right so itna hi information is organization ke bare mein kafi hai theek hai isse zyada padhne ki zarurat nahi hai and therefore the correct answer will be what option b india question number 4 pe chalte hain and yes so many students were asking about the nfhs 5 so guys let me tell you that that report consists of 713 pages तो इट टेक्स टाइम ओके मैं नहीं चाहता कि मैं कुछ भी जल्दीबाजी में आपको दे दूं और कर लो बिकॉज डेफिनेटली एन एफ एच एस फाइव में से क्वेश्चन तो आना ही है ये आपको भी पता है ऑल राइट सो प्लीज गिव सम टाइम आई विल कम अप विद अ सेपरेट सेशन ऑन एन एफ एच एस फाइव ओके एंड मोस्ट ऑफ द डेटा आर सेम अब देखो इन्होंने यहाँ पे ना क्या करा गवर्नमेंट ने एन एफ एच एस फाइव में मैं बता देता हूँ इफ यू रिमेंबर जो इससे पहले फेज टू आया था उससे पहले फेज वन भी आया था फेज वन में इन्होंने ट्वेंटी टू स्टेट्स और यू के बारे का डेटा रिलीज किया फेज टू में जो कि अभी हमने कुछ टाइम पहले डिस्कस किया था इन द आई थिंक मंथ ऑफ नवंबर और दिसंबर आई थिंक इसमें इन्होंने 14 स्टेट्स का डेटा रिलीज किया 14 स्टेट्स और यूटीज का और इसमें टोटल 22 22 स्टेट्स और यूटीज थे अब इसमें इन्होंने क्या करा जब इन्होंने फेज टू का डेटा लॉन्च किया तो फेज वन में जो स्टेट थे ना उनके डेटा में भी अपडेशन कर दी समझ रहे हो तो यहाँ पे क्या हुआ मेरे को फिर से कवर करना पड़ा अब ये दो बार कवर हो चुका है अब जो फाइनली अभी जो रिपोर्ट लॉन्च हुई है वो कुछ नहीं है इसमें उन्होंने क्या करा जैसे फेज टू में मैं फॉर एग्जांपल बता रहा हूँ बिहार की जो टोटल फर्टिलिटी रेट है पी में जो हमने डिस्कस करी थी ठीक है आफ्टर द लॉन्च ऑफ दिस फेज टू बिहार की टोटल फर्टिलिटी रेट कितनी डिस्कस करी थी हमने थ्री पॉइंट उन्होंने बताई थी अब जो इन्होंने लॉन्च किया है अब जो फाइनल डेटा आया है इसमें इन्होंने बताया कि बिहार की जो फर्टिलिटी रेट है वो टू है ठीक है इस समय इन्होंने क्या करा था अप्रोक्सीमेट बता दिया था अब इन्होंने एग्जैक्ट बता दिया है और इस रिपोर्ट में भी जो करंट रिपोर्ट है इसमें भी उन्होंने यही गड़बड़ करी है जो इनका टेबल है टेबल में दे हैव मेंशन दैट टीएफआर ऑफ इंडिया इज 1.99 लेकिन हर जगह न्यूज पेपर अखबार और पी में इंडिया का टी कितना घूम रहा है टू पॉइंट तो ये सारी चीजें मैं आपको क्लैरिफाई कर दूंगा मैन आई टेक देशन ऑफ एन एफ एच एस फाइव डोंट वरी जस्ट गिव सम टाइम एंड नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट दिस क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर Name the initiative launched by Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs headed by H S Puri, who is also the Minister of Petroleum and Natural Gas, to provide low flow sanitary ware at scale and thereby reduce water consumption at source considerably. Now this is very very important initiative because Amrut two में हमारे पास ये target है, Amrut two point zero में हमारे पास water conservation के भी targets हैं. So this is again we can say it is one of the initiative. uh which which helps which will help the government to achieve the target in amrut under amrut 2.0 okay so this initiative guys is bharat tap this is bharat tap and it was launched by ministry of housing and urban affairs at an exhibition which is known as plumbex india plumbex india ek exhibition tha usme bharat tap launch hua tha and this bharat tap initiative is for providing the low flow sanitary ware theek hai low flow jiska flow kam hota hai और अगर फ्लो कम होगा तो पानी की जो वेस्टेज है वो कम होगी द लो फ्लो वाटर विल डेफिनेटली लीड टू द लेस वेस्टेज ऑफ वाटर ठीक है एंड दिस प्लम्बेक्स इंडिया रिमेंबर इज एन एग्जीबिशन फॉर प्रोडक्ट्स एंड सर्विसेज रिलेटेड टू द प्लम्बिंग वाटर एंड सैनिटेशन इंडस्ट्री एंड ड्यूरिंग द इवेंट वन मोर इनिशिएटिव वॉज लॉन्च विच वॉज ऑफ नारेडको माही दिस इज नॉट नारेडेको इट इज नारेडको 
एंड नारेट को स्टैंड फॉर नेशनल रियल एस्टेट डेवलपमेंट काउंसिल नेशनल रियल एस्टेट डेवलपमेंट काउंसिल एंड नारेट को माही इज द वुमेन इट इज द वुमेन्स विंग ऑफ नेशनल रियल एस्टेट डेवलपमेंट काउंसिल इससे ज्यादा पढ़ने की जरूरत नहीं है ठीक है जस्ट रिमेंबर a new initiative of naredco mahi which is a women's wing of naredco and naredco is what national Re real estate development council its new initiative which is nirmal jal prayas nirmal jal prayas this initiative has been launched by the ministry and what is the objective of this initiative this is for saving of 500 crore liters of water per year okay so i hope this news is clear and therefore the correct answer is what option a bharat tap okay and now let's talk about the question number 5 where has the first center of excellence for khadi been inaugurated by the minister of msme very very important question phase 1 mein ya phase 2 mein kahin na kahin milega theek hai to kahan pe pehla center of excellence for khadi inaugurate kiya hai ministry of msme ne now remember this has been inaugurated at national institute of fashion technology nift if in new delhi option c new delhi and this is the project Which is which will be completed in a period of three years. In three years, this project will be completed. Okay, this is the center of excellence for khadi, and it has been launched in uh, at NIFT, which is in New Delhi. So option C is the correct answer. And the last question for today: At which place the exhibition series Inter Solar Europe 2022 is being held under Indo-German Energy Forum? Again, very important question. Now remember. This exhibition series, Inter Solar Europe 2022, it is being organized under the Indo-German Energy Forum, and where it has been organized, and where it is being organized, it is being organized at Munich, which is of course in Germany. Option D is the correct answer. All right, so that's it for the session today. I hope all the questions are clear. If you have any doubts, you can ask me in the comment section. And I will see you in the next session on Monday. Goodbye. Take care and God bless.